Hey guys, welcome to this video guys. So I just got home with the news that we have new content on FIFA guys. So let me go to it. So we got the icon swaps guys. Remember last year we got like swap players. Now we got icon swaps. I really love this and you guys look at Hugo Sanchez and that's what I want to go for. But I've been watching this. But first of all, how do you get this? It there in the objectives and I think it's going to be a grind. So you get from uh, Icon Swap on, online. So you have to play online. Uh, the first one player you get, you have to win nine foot champions matches, which I'm not even qualified. But I think even the foot champions already start. I think you had 24 hours um, after it starts to register if you qualified, which I'm going to try to do that today um, before midnight because that's when food champions opened uh last night so uh yeah and that's one player so we got two three four five six seven you could get on this um swap uh players online so the first one is like win food champion matches nine uh the golden rivals win three rival matches using a full squad of online gold players including the bench with the max overall squad of 83 and you have to win three matches of those now you're gonna have to go with the premier league guys uh and it has to be a first on premier league at least um using using at least seven players from own on the uh premier league first owner so you had to pack them uh sbcs or on tradables right um and then league one same uh win three rival matches using seven first own league one players uh this area as well as uh, the same well, this one's gonna be easy because i do believe i have um a sierra a squad although first stone i don't think i have a, a bunch of them um i think i just have an angolan first stone untradeable uh but the other ones i'm gonna have to go with very cheap options that i have packed uh la liga the same uh seven players first stone uh win three matches on rivals uh the good thing about this guys i'm in a very low league or very low um division so this is not gonna be hard for me because i'm like division six but people that are in higher divisions like division one and two is gonna be sweaty for them uh la liga same just a squad with the first own seven players uh to get this win three matches and the same thing for the bundesliga so that's the that's gonna be one two three four five six seven players you could get um and then the icon sing uh, icon swap single player uh, this is gonna be four, so you had to win. Um, I do believe six, uh, six games uh, of squad battles, uh, minimum world class difficulty. Which, um, yeah, it's gonna be hard, guys. Uh, for some people that don't play offline, they don't know how to play against the CPU. This might be hard because for me right now, legendary, it's sometimes very hard to. Uh, beat. so you need to win six matches uh also uh with an mls star 11 or oh, 11 players in your starting squad so i think they could be on your bench you have to win um five squad battles using an mls team and then win five squad battles using um 11 every players in your star 11 so you need a full mls players uh and your starting squad and also 11 and and the ender -vis, which i think is the um isn't that the 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 netherlands league i think it is and then the chinese league you also need a star 11 um on that squad uh to get this so that would be seven eight nine ten eleven tokens and then there's another one called I Icon Swap, which only gives you one. So uh, that would be one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're only giving you twelve Icon Swaps, guys, for right now. And then what I understand that the other play, the other swap players. They may be on SBCs, but as well, they're going to be releasing them in 28 days, 27 days. Uh, when the season is over right here, they're going to release the other ones. But let's go into the squad battles, um, squad, squad um, 
SBCs, guys. I cannot talk. So today they gave the uh, about me Yang. I'm not going to do it. Now, guys, this is the thing. There's going to be 24 swap players you could get. 24. So that means that you could actually go for three or even two icons. Now, my plan was to go with uh, Hugo Sanchez, right? So let's go with Hugo Sanchez. I think he is around 17. He's 17 tokens. So that would leave me, I do believe, with sec seven tokens left uh, to get another icon. And the only icon I could get uh, would be the, the goalkeeper with he is six icons. I wish Hugo was like 16 so I could go with the, for any of this Guardiola. But there's a thing, guys. There's um he's seven he's 17 tokens. So if I go with Hugo, I I have to really go for uh for uh the goalkeeper, right? So what I seen guys is that there is a um Hernan Crespo guys, he is 12. He is 12 and look at those stats guys, 87 pace, 85, 90 finishing, um, 88 composure guys. That's what Hugo doesn't have. That's why people don't like Hugo Sanchez. So that makes me think Crespo, he looks like a very decent card going for. He has 79 stamina, which is pretty good. Almost 80. Like his passing is not that great, but if you use him as a striker, I don't think his passing is going to be dub that bad but he looks like an amazing card and he's only 12 12 um 12 swaps and there's gonna be 24 so that you could go even for a roberto carlos any other of these players over here or even you could go for a um let me see you could go for a close or you could go for a uh culvert uh, which is another striker or you could go or a Roberto Carlos, you could go for a center back, La Nesta. Um, you could go for, go for Giggs, Guardiola. You know, like I think I want to do that. I want to now. I really wanted Hugo Sanchez, but now Crespo looks like a very cool card, guys. A lot of people thought that maybe like um, Fernandan was gonna be cheap. No, he's. Almost at the price of Hugo Sanchez, even though he's an 85, but apparently he's a pretty good player. So, yeah, guys, like, what, what are you guys going for? Because there's going to be 24 swaps. Uh, if The best one is going to be uh, Joe, but he's going to be 23. And you're going to only have one left that you are not going to be able to do nothing with it. So, either go for Hugo Sanchez. Like I had a plan, right? Go, go for Hugo Sanchez. And get that goalkeeper icon. But I don't think I would even use that goalkeeper icon to be honest. It's a hard decision for me guys. I, I don't know what you guys think about this. But tell me in the comments. What should I go for guys? Because um, I think right now you could go for anything. Like right now, right now. If you grind the game right now. You could go anyone from. I do believe from Pirlo down. So you right now, if you play the game, you finish all those objectives. You could do Pirlo, you could do Balek, you could do Close, uh, you could do Crespo. So I really want the Crespo, guys. Now he he looks better than. Okay, so Hugo Sanchez has like way better stats, but the composure Hugo Hugo Sanchez has is like the thing that doesn't want to let me do it. <sighs> Look at that composure, guys. Fifty eight. Should I, I just want to go for Hugo. I'm going to go for, <laughs> oh my God. I really want that Crespo, but I really want that Hugo as well. So either go for Hugo and then like, I'm going to have six, seven left, seven tokens left. Right. And I, I would only have, could go for, uh, Schmackles. I never like icon goalkeepers. I don't know if he's going to be any good. Uh, to go for him guys like he is 6 4 um he has decent diving and very good reflexes right hmm 
uh, I think the best value for me has to be Crespo, guys. Y you guys do Crespo. You guys are going to have 12 more left uh, to, to do 12 more swaps. And you could go for any icon that is 12 or less. So you could go for a Crespo. You could go for a Culvert. Uh, you could go for a Closet. You cannot go for a Pollock. Oh, if you want, you could go for a Bollock, but then you will only have 10 tokens left. So you would have to go for either a Nesta, which is not bad, uh, a Giggs, a Guardiola, or a Ococha. Um, so I think I really, I really think in Crespo, guys, look at those stats. 87 speed uh, acceleration with 80, 85 sprint speed. 90 finishing shot power 85 long shots 80 volleys 87 87 penalties um he's not he's a striker so that passing is not like a big deal but if you add a a dead eye on him he's gonna be pretty decent on passing agility 88 balance 82 reactions 82 ball control 83 dribbling 84 composure 88 like what else do you want on this card? It looks so nice, guys. So, I, <laughs> would you guys go for Crespo or would you guys go for Hugo Sanchez, guys? Please tell me in the comments, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Ah, damn. <laughs>